uh, not a real fire, like a um, I have some things here I can show you. Just this. I'm gonna show you this fire right here, but orange and black for Halloween first, and then we carry on from there. We'll do uh, for four hours today. Yeah, tell me that. Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. Misty blush. So I'm going to use a nude. Misty blush. Okay, so I'm going to paint it the whole nails in nude. Here. And I keep all 60 seconds. Uh, I'm going to paint a few more nude now, just in case, because uh, let's see what's the next design going to be. Uh, something Halloween-y. Oh, um, the next design is going to be candy, candy corn with bat, candy corn color with bat on it. So I start with white for candy corn. I'm going to use pigment. Did you ask if it was echoey? Uh, I didn't, but I'm sure it's not echoey. Yes, Kim is going to say a lot. Yes, but uh, remember, um, if it, okay, so right now it's 12. I'm going to do it to 4, but don't let me go till 4 because they're going to kick me out and I couldn't save it. So remember um, to remind me that to end the live before 4. So I can save it. All right. So these are nude nails. So let's draw some uh, flame. And it's going to have a heart right in the middle. So for that, I'm going to take out. Okay. I want to use pigment for sure. So I have to actually block this from pigment. From sticking to pigment. So, right. I have to block this. So I'm going to get out. Shine it. That is a no wipe gel. And when you use no wipe uh, ingredient on a polish, pigment cannot stick to it. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, candy corn. Candy <coughs> corn. Oh, tombstone. All that. All the basic Halloween design. And then later we can move into crazy Halloween design. But let's get all the basic out of our way. Uh, what camera holder are you using, honey? Um, this camera holder I bought it in Amazon. Oh no, uh, now that give it to me, but um, I have a link on Amazon. If you text me, I'll send it to you. Yeah. All right. So this one I'm going to save it, just in case. Just save it here. So let's uh, pick out our colors. Okay, I scroll back. <laughs> Let's see what I can that way you can see whenever he's focused and intense or, you know, because sometimes he's just over here painting one-handed. Okay, let's do these colors. And, and then let's do that color too. Mm. Let's see what, what else. Oh, pink, maybe a little pink. No, I should go pink. Um, this color too. Is that what, candy cane colors? Um... Candy corn colors. I thought it was like white. White, orange, yellow. Brown, I think. You know, I'm not sure. That's sad. That is absolutely All right. sad. Because it's not sad. That's mean, we, that mean we're healthy. You know, they, okay. They, they, they do whatever they want. Take white out. We're so healthy. no white. We're healthy because we don't know what candy <laughs> corn colors are. Oh, yes. Goodness. Orange, white, yellow. Okay. Deep. Okay. Hi, Chicky. Orange, white, yellow. Yeah, orange, white, yellow. When I say brown, <laughs> kind of candy corn do I have? Oh, shit. We got, we got, uh... Yesterday, I kind of snapped at Chicky a little bit. What? I was dealing with a Chinese vendor, and I keep hearing ding, 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 and this guy was like, fuck, Chicky, stop this shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. I'm uh for a heart, I'm gonna draw it out here first, okay? 
So basically, they're gonna be this, okay? Hey, Garrett. And then they're gonna be flame. Yes, Tino's got two phones going. I'm gonna do really fast. So don't mind if it's not perfect. I just wanna show you an example of it. Okay. And just whatever else underneath. But basically, we're gonna start out here first. We're gonna do this curve and we're gonna lead it down. Okay. But it gotta go down really far because halfway we're gonna curve it. We're gonna curve it up. Okay, and then we're gonna curve the rest down. So that's that's the direction that we're doing. So let's get started with the white gel polish. So we're gonna start, let's say the flame end about here. So the direction. Now a minute ago, um Somebody said they couldn't hear. Can, it, can everybody else hear? Can everybody hear me? Oh, wait. Can you turn up? Uh, can you turn down the volume on that phone? On that phone. That yeah. mm -hmm. And be careful when you turn it down. I want to X out. Okay, so that is the end of the top part of the heart. So, halfway we're gonna curve. It's okay, as long as you turn it all the way down, that's good. Yep. Okay, good. Okay, we're good. I'm kind of busy talking and my heart turned out like this. What? It's racist. Is it catastrophic? No, it's not. It's just a little too deep. I don't want it to, to be too deep. Too deep? Get some alcohol. See, I, I want it to be way up here. I don't want it to be too deep. What size portion are you using? Um, this one right here that I'm using for the liners, I'm using 10 millimeters. Okay. The other side, same thing. Halfway make a curve. Okay. Now you can curve down. I decide to cut down and blend in. After this, I will break it down uh, further for you. After I do the design, I, I use a uh, pen and paper. Do you have pen and paper? Yeah. Oh, yeah, over there. Yes. I think you find me a pen for later. All right, underneath, I'm just gonna cover everything white. So Z is land work. So after this, I'm gonna break down how you can view land work and uh, practice this. I'm gonna clear this. All right. So when you draw the flames, first part is this, the curve. Right. The other one is this. That is the first part. Okay. So if you weak at line work, what you can view that you can break it down. 
Okay, this is a metals. Okay. And this, this is a curve, like a C curve, but this is not a curve. It's a sway. It's curved up here and then it curve oppositely. That is a sway. So you can break it down like this because first you have to know how the brush work. It's not a pen. It's you to pull back our way. Okay. This direction right here. That is what it used for our way. It never go here. It's never go here. And it's definitely don't go up. It's always pull back. So when you do a drawing <clears throat> to start, you have to start like this, right? But if you're going to turn, you definitely cannot do that. You have to turn the angle of your brush and then run. And then we get down here, you have to turn the angle of your brush and turn and turn. And so when you do a curve, that's many, many, many turn. So the trick to do in curve is you have to go slow, just like driving. When you drive, like if you go straight, you can go 80 miles per hour. But if you go, if you turn like a sharp turn, you definitely have to slow down or you crash. Same with line work. You always have to go slow. So you can break it down a sway. Okay. You can break it down with practice like this. This is a sway. Okay. And a sway, you can break it down like this. You can go down. Slant this. And then down okay you need to understand this pattern and then when you go you just slightly turn slightly turn to practice the sway okay and then the curve same things you start here little slanted going down slanted across so when you paint you are just slowly Fuse it together, okay? So that's how you draw a flame. You start like this, and then the next one, you draw a straight line down, okay? And then you just follow this line. You start right in here, and you slowly move it out, okay? Same thing here, slowly move it out. So underneath, it's bigger than on top. But... When it comes to here, what you need to do, you cannot just go in because then there, there'll be a sharp cut right here. You have to sway with the line. Same thing here. You cannot just go in. You have to sway down. Okay, so that is an upside down sway like this. An upside down sway is the same principle. Down, slanted, down. Okay, so you can just move with the line. And this is this part right here. Then for the heart, okay, you first need to make a curve up here first. So you curve up and maybe sway a little bit. Okay, same thing here. Then you can start making your heart by starting in this and go up as much as possible and then go down. Same thing here. And then this blend in because um, before I have people that would do this, they just go in. And that is not smooth, a um, smooth transition right here. So what you do, you have to follow this, the, the bottom part of the heart. You have to follow this. So you go in and then you follow the bottom part. So that is how you draw the plan. So later when you uh, look back at it, you can dissect your pattern so it will make uh, your practice more easier. It's not about uh, the stableness of your hand. You just have to know where to move. Okay, so I'm going to put pigment on this. I already blocked pigment on the background. So now all I have to do is color in. I'm thinking the deeper color right in the middle of the heart. Take some paper towels. <coughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, so I have orange out. Hi, Catherine. 
Hi, Kathleen. Hey, little kitty, honey. Okay, I'm not gonna brush pigment on this big side right here. I'm not gonna do this. Mm -mm. I'm gonna turn it on the side. I'm gonna do this so it's it's lighter. It, it's um narrower, but the heart is tiny. So slightly dust it out. lightly very lightly treat it like a baby be very you must gentle. talk on the amount of pressure that you're putting on to the yes. like making love you have to start out very slow <laughs> do you yes yes <laughs> oh you have to set the mood you have to uh, fondle it and then, and then at the end, you give it hell. But at first, you have to do slow. Lighter orange. Hey, baby, sweet. <sighs> Little kitty. Uh, how do you prevent from getting pigment on the background? I've always had trouble with this. This right here. You put this on first. Shine it. And then you cure. You cure for 30 seconds. It will block all pigments. Will this give an a gradient effect? Yes. And it's up to you to decide where it start and where it's end. I, I mine is I like uh start right in the middle of the heart and blend it all the way out. But you can do it oppositely if you want. Doesn't the cat is uh, obsessed? Is it obsessed with the pen? Okay, so clean this like that. Clean this. Clean away all the orange. Okay, especially with yellow, you want it extra clean. If it, I move from this color to this color, I just clean a little bit. But if if it's yellow, I need to be nice and pure. Oh, I need to quickly. Ooh. Uh, and oh, I need to post my website too um, at www.tinovo.shopsenpin. Okay. So now I'm going to do uh, yellow. Fell asleep the other night and missed the pumpkin set. It's on Ian. Uh, it's on YouTube. I'll send it to her later. Uh, text me a message to remind me. Right, well, I'm just going to show her the end result because she didn't get to see the end result. Okay. It's right here. There's a pumpkin on fire. Mm -hmm. Um, this part doesn't cure too well. Uh, I guess something on it, but it's fine. I can just get a a small filler brush to cleanse it. I'm gonna use this brush, and I'm gonna use alcohol. Ooh, it just squirted on me. Okay. <laughs> Heard that twice today. <laughs> uh, like can that. you tell me the name of the light that is that hold out? Has it. Uh, no, it don't have a name. But you text me and I send you the link. You okay. So now you can decide whatever in this. Okay, you can put some black, or actually. Mm. I'm gonna mix some black with some silver pixie. Just to see. Oh, this one. Okay, let's take this out. Okay. Put this aside. All right. So let's take some palette. 
black. So this is black polish. Actually, you know what? If I use black polish, that's sticky, and I don't want to put hot coat on this. Hmm. I want to use black metal thick gels because it's not sticky. Because I don't want to top coat it. So I have to choose no wipe ingredients. So black metal effect gel and pixie gel. Ooh. I thought you were just Ooh. 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 So this one I'm using matted. What is the best way to clean up the spots the pigments accidentally got on? Alcohol. Alcohol. And a very small brush, uh, uh, preferably a flat, small brush, like the filler brush. This is, uh, this is a filler brush because it's flat. <laughs> Uh, yes, he's going to be saving it. Okay. Now, here this. So I'm I'm finished, right? This is finished. No more top coat because I already put matte on. I better make sure that's plugged in. Uh, no. Oh, is that the motion sensor thing? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, 60 seconds on the math top coats. Uh-oh. Is this to fit under it? Uh, Alexandra, just text. I need to text her back. Okay. So, this is done. Now, I'm going to get the black out that I make with silver pixie. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to put this Just make, be careful. Don't click any button. <laughs> Okay, now clear this. So this is done. No more top coat needed. I like it. You can do gold too, or just a matte black will do fine. I like this black right here. Let's clear this. Hi, now Garnet. Hello. Okay, so next we're gonna do a candy corn team. Um, and then we're gonna paint it. Uh, I think either a cat or witches. So we're gonna do a pigment ombre first. Okay. Good. Okay. So to do pigment ombre, first you have to use matte top coat. And what you need to do is is apply and clear for only five seconds because if it passes five seconds, it's going to be very light for the pigment to stay on. Matte top coat. You see any questions? Clear this. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Not just still the whole tip and draw the heart over. You know what I'm saying? Just wondering why did you just not fill in the whole tip mm -hmm. and draw the heart over? That's why I just did. You fill the whole tip and then draw the heart over. Yeah. 
Is that what the question is? I'm not sure. What I do is first I block the pigment, block the background with uh shine it, and then I use white polish to draw the flame, and then I use pigment, and then I fill in with a heart. Or you can just leave it hollow. Oh, um, what you must be asking is why don't I start with a black tip first and then I just draw the flame over. You can do it too, but I just want it to be embossed. Uh, how I started it is I make this design. Uh, I intend it to be hollow, which you can leave it hollow too. You don't have to feel in the heart. You can leave it hollow, but when I'm done, like when I'm done with uh, this, I was like, it needs some things. It needed something to it. So what I do is that I paint it go in and I like it. So I just decided to teach it. I like, it'd be good with orange and black, but um, you can just leave it hollow. That's the whole point uh, of doing a black glass. But you can just do a black tip with uh, the, and then do the flame on. It's going to be so thick, though. It's going to be like two layers. Okay. So this, I uh, keep for five seconds. Uh, I mean, instead of cutting out the heart in the middle before you build it. Right. I just explained it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now, let's ombre this. One vote from one of our regulars that it is a little distracting for her to have a double vision. Yeah. Okay, now. But of course, because you're cute and everyone wants to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's start with uh, dark orange first. Oh, actually, not too dark. I'm going to start with this. It's like a medium colors. Medium All right. Color. Uh, I think I should start um, down here. Okay, so let's flip the nail over. So I like to blend down. I don't like to blend up. Yes, I love product because you have to have everything ready to be able to achieve anything you want. Of course, you cannot blow on your customer nail like that. You have to gently dust it. Okay. Let's chew a, a bright orange. This is a bright orange. So we're gonna take candy corn color and we just do an ombre and then we're gonna paint the character on top of this background. So orange. Yes, you have to apply it on the paper towel because what happened is the paper towel uh, it has traction, and what it's doing is that it grab onto the pigment so it don't fly everywhere. <laughs> so if you don't use a paper towel, you would be sorry, because that would be very very messy. Okay. Thank you. Right. Now let's take yellow, bright bright yellow, this color right here. And I don't clean my brush that well. So some of the orange, it can mix into the yellow too. Make it warmer. Can you do, do this with base coat instead of... No, you can't. Mm -mm. Too wet. Too sticky. Too wet. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was such a thing. Mm -mm. Base coat of our glitters. Glitter and foils and... Um, things that need to be sticky. Uh, pigment have to be dry for it to be nice and even like this. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to keep hearing this because this is only key for five seconds. So you have to keep hearing this. Okay. Let's see what the flame is. Why did we put the flame? All right. <laughs> so let's put this down here. Candy corn vibes. Mm -hmm. uh, what did they say? Uh, blood splatters? Or, uh, Maybe ghosts. See, ghost tombstone. Tombstone. Uh, tombstone. Yeah, the graveyards. So that's another pig. I, I have a feeling uh, you're going to use a lot of pigment because there's a lot of blending. Yeah, you feel like you're going to use a lot of Oh, look at that. That's so bright already. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm thinking mad in this. Mad this. Oh, you know, spider web would be cool. To show you. No, uh, I do a bat first. Witches. I do witches first. Yes. Kill this. So I'm mad in this. And then I'm going to use black metal back to draw some witches. I think I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw some witches. witches. I'm going to use uh, black metal back. But uh, no, actually, I'm going to draw a cat because then I can do a silhouette. But the witches, mm, we, we're going to do a different team. We're going to draw like a moon so she can fly above the moon. Well, I know candy corn is just like too sweet. Way too sweet. Like, like one, okay. I'm done. First now, day. I'm going to use a Lana brush. This is 10 millimeter. That's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to take this and draw a cat. I'm going to draw a cat. I need to view a, a cat. You have like a small phone. Oh, get a small phone. I need, to, I need to see what a cat looks like. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't actually start to draw It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to guess a cat. Did you see what a cat looks like? Yeah. I'm going to get one. <laughs> no, a, a cat's, a cat's <laughs> silhouette. Okay, let's draw a cat. Okay, so it have a head. And uh, an, an ear. Okay. I'm trying to view my short-term memory. Halloween cats, as a matter of fact. No, this looks like a rabbit. A cat have a smaller ear. Okay, so no smaller ear for the cat. Neck. And see this butt right here. Okay. Hmm. And then a legs, legs, and tails. And then a branch. So smaller ear. I think that's what cat is, right? A cat have smaller ear. What's a cat ear look like? What do you mean? You, you, you you okay, I, I figured it out. I figured it out. All right, so let's draw a cat. <laughs> okay. So. Mm -hmm. Circle for the head. But it's necessary too. At least you can see the, the process of figuring out how to draw it. Okay, so a circles, and then this you do two little line there. on, and this one line down. Here, we got your model. It doesn't pose. It should be that like a baby. It doesn't pose. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay, so <laughs> now let's draw uh, the body. Okay. make it out here for not too much out just a little bit it 
and then you do the ear. Actually, not yet. I don't want it to have a chance to blend in yet. Blend in. It could blend in the ear. It's too small, so you don't want the detail to blend into each other. So I draw the other thing first. Now I'm gonna draw the ear. Can you tell me why my matte top coat is melting my pigment? Oh, you press on it too long. You play with it too long. Or um, it could be the top coat itself too. It could be the top coat. Uh, tend to uh, bleed, but most, likely. but most likely because you brush for too long. I'm thinking uh, a curly tail. So you go here, you stop, okay? Go up here, you make a curve. See that? You just break it down. Okay, you stop, you stop. And then from here, you go up. Okay, and then you go down. So you just find an angle that works for you. You don't go, people that uh, amateur nail tech will go, try to go all the way. And it will become a swirl, but it will be an ugly swirl. That only work, worth $5. You don't want that. Oh, okay, $5. yes. So you draw the ear. Ooh, and you know what? I think a whisker too. So, very thin, touch it very lightly and drag one, two, three. It's still a little thick, but it's okay. This one very thin, very thin. One, two, three. Okay, now what else we have? I'm gonna, not going to draw the shoulder. The cat's supposed to have a shoulder, but this is an abstract design, so this is more flattering. I, I, I think they figured out something where, <coughs> where if someone does a like both screens, they can click on one. And Ooh. See it, right? That way they could, if they're just trying to focus nice. on the nail. But that's always going to be. Uh, um, someone that is bothers. Well, sure. Mm -hmm. We always want to hear opinions as we go. So we can yes. Take things into consideration. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, um, if I want, if I want to make interesting, I, I'm gonna do star. Okay. So I'm, yes, I'm gonna do some star. Some star. Uh mm -hmm. So. Uh, a star, I'm going to draw an A, letter A. Okay, I'm going to draw a letter A. A. And then I'm connecting it. See how easy to draw a star? And then fill it in. Okay. So, I'm going to do a few star here. Probably one right here. I want to be I want it to be semi narrow. Okay, maybe another small one over here. Small stars tend to be easier, but you don't really have to fill it in. It's already filled. See that little small star? And then maybe a small star over here. I forgot this still wet. I can use this. Okay. I think I like this. Cute this.
now I'm gonna keep a, a 60 minute and I'm, I'm thinking I might want to mask this the whole thing or you can just leave it because the gel it doesn't need any pop so actually when you're done you can just leave it but if you want you can cut our mask on the entire thing again if you like all right let's take it out so you can just leave it like this too. If you choose to leave it like this, um, then you have to use black metal effect gel and remember to not make it too thick because if you not you make it too thick, it's not gonna cure all the way. So you don't want it to be too thick. Not never on metal effect gel, maybe on texture effect, but not on metal effect. Okay, let's do, uh, you know what? Let's do, let's do witches. Witches. Mm -hmm. So, witches, you have to start with gel ombre. Okay, so this I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start out with black. black. I'm gonna do an ombre that uh, I never demonstrated before on here. Black all the way. Mm -hmm. Like all the way. All the way. All the way. You can't go back. You have to go all the way. Okay, okay hear this. 60 seconds. <clears throat> oh, I'm doing great today. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm going to do a black and white ombre, but this time I'm going to do it on in the middle. So I'm taking out an ombre sponge. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take black and white polish. <laughs> black polish. Paint it on half of the nail. Mm hmm Saturated. You don't want it, you want it to go into the sponge zone. You don't want it on top. Right. You you, you want to saturate, saturate it. it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> He's gonna say the lies. How do you make the painting gel don't come out a few days later than you when you do the design? use another brand and it always comes out when I draw. How do you make the painting gel don't come out a few days later? Tin. Paint it thin. Paint it thin? Mm -hmm. She meaning how to make painting gel not chip up. Any painting gel, the reason why it's painting gel because it's pigmented. So you have to remember to make it thin. If it if it's not thin, because that's not textured gel. If it's textured gel, you might have, you might able to make it a little thick, but it, other than that, any painting gel, liner gel, it have to be thin. Mm -hmm. Can I just slap it on randomly? You have to be gentle. And um, when you pick up paint, you have to be moderate, not too much. Mm -hmm. I'm making, like I'm making a, a ombre, but inside. Hear this? So it looks like a big moonlight inside. So first, I'm using this, and I'm so you're more doing than right. So they're only black and uh, on both sides, but not in the middle. In the middle, it's gonna be all white. If that makes sense. It does, but I thought we were just getting a wedge and now. <clears throat> You're gonna make a background and everything. Well, it's only following along, you should have warned them, hey, I'm gonna do a witch and then a whole bunch of background stuff. Yes. Yes. Unless they pay five dollars. Then you know what? Five dollars not even worth it. <laughs> you just kick them out. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So down here too. I want more white. I need more white. Our differences is what's great. You know, when you got a partner that, that, that instead of having differences and trying to change them and you love them and you adapt, oh, it's just so much more. You, you, you expand yourself as a person. It does make everything look effortless. <laughs> okay. So in the middle, it's going to be all white. Okay. So here this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to picture it. Trying to picture it? You, mm -hmm. Oh, you already started doing shit and you haven't even pictured it yet? What the fun in it? Oh my God, you should have stuck with the witch. What's the fun in it? It has to be a, an adventure. I'd feel more comfortable right now if you had two nails going or something. Man. It has to be an adventure. It has to be risky. You know, like watching Jim Bond, it has to be risky. risky. And full of uh, uh, obstacles, obstacles and everything. Yes. Right right now, the medals, I'm trying to do things. I need an ombre. I won't distract you then. Ombre brush. I need an ombre brush for sure. Clean this. And then you got to talk to them too. That's, that's I know, right? I feel pressure. All right. Now, let's take this. And you apply right in the middle. Okay. And then you're going to use this ombre brush just to blend out the white. So I'm gonna do all the way around. Just let, just uh, spread out a little bit of gel, not much. All the way around it. Now, what you do is you wipe your brush. Then you keep going. This time the gel is already spread. So now when you spread it out even further, it should be flawless. Flawless. Oh, wow. Okay. Don't put no pressure on them. Oh, even, it's not flawless and you're failures. Oh, God. Yes. What if they got a bad tipping client who has thick glasses? And oh, yeah, then go for it. Well. Yeah, get them. Get them. Get them. Right. Get her out of there. And if not, then you can go over with uh, the um, uh, uh, ombre sponge when you're done. Um, what do you, what do you, how do you clean your brushes? Okay, when I'm done, uh, I clean my brush with uh, Aston. I don't clean with alcohol because alcohol takes too long to evaporate. So I clean with Aston, but I, I never clean it after I use it. I always cleanse it before I use it. Because if you clean after you use, it's going to stay uh, so dry overnight, it's going to... Um, riddle and break. break. Mm -hmm. Here it is. So basically, you keep gel on it until you're going to use it, and then you're only cleaning it for two seconds. Basically. Right. Cause right now, see that? There's barely any gel on here, so it will keep it nice and it's nicely in shape. See this? It's not brittle. And the next time, if you are different colors, then you have to remove the old color, which means you just dip that stone for a little bit like this. And then wipe it, and then dip it in gel right away. So now, there's always gel on your brush to condition it. See that? Well, you know what? If we could move this light either here or there, they could see your hand movements too, so they could see when you're wiping. Oh, my God. Stuff like that. No, that's oh. not important. 
that's the reason I wanted to have the split screen so that they did, they could see you doing the extra stuff and make sure you weren't putting stickers on. Oh, you know what yes. I mean? Because you could be swapping nails. We don't yes. really know. All we see is these hands. Matter of fact, we don't even know if we were here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Top Coat. <laughs> okay. Matt Top Coat and... Oh, um, you have to yield a brush that have a lid. A brush. Mm -hmm. I, I don't use brush that doesn't have lid. So somebody asked, which I'm confused, can you please create a subscription on Facebook or OnlyFans so the subscri subscribers can have access to Save Lives? Don't they have that anyway? You have been on Instagram already. Hear this? Or I did want us to do a little more than that. I mean, if you want me to like, uh, okay, one, two, us. three, four, five, a uh, subscription, I would do something else. Like I would become like a fox. Like I would dress like a fox and I, I would run around the room cleaning. And you can watch me cleaning seductively. Like, you know, dusting and everything as a fox. Yeah, foxy cat. Right, right. Foxy cat. Right. But other than that, nails you can always find on Instagram. You just search for it. Everything is in my Instagram. Uh, okay, now. I'm not gonna use candy corn team. I'm done with candy corn team. Uh, I'm into a green team now. Okay, so make sure to clean my brush on a paper towel. And then blue. Blue and green is what I'm after, like the color of the night. Slow down on your right. I can't read this quick. <laughs> okay, now let's see that it have colors, but yes, new new the fox. Um, I'm sure that will be plenty of people that want to watch me. Oh, yeah, new new the fox. You know, if I'm become a successful uh, only fan. I might quit now and just do OnlyFans. Just become a fox, are they? I'd rather be a fox. Just be awesome. Right. Right. Okay, so I'm applying over the black because I don't want it to be straight black. I want a little blue in there. Okay, now I'm going to ombre it in. Okay. Be, be nice. Be gentle. Be gentle. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have to speak like I got to read a whole bunch of comments. They have an advantage because they're women, so they would make up on every single day. So when you do makeup, this is what you do. You use you use exactly the same things. Not necessarily all. No, I mean not material why, but you, you do this um the same step. You know, you, you, you brush it on your skin like this. So when you plan and contour, you well, have you're, you're assuming they're good at putting on makeup. Because really, right. as, a, as, a, as a gay male, it's just like, most women are absolutely beautiful, and then they put on makeup, and it just—I don't know. When, when you don't, when you don't look at women as a sexual. Uh... Well, it's 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 an ability to transform. It's not necessarily have to be a sexy or attractive. Uh, the opposite, um, like it's not. It's not like they put on makeup to attract men. They just want to transform, you know, transform to be something more than what it already is, you know, to to upgrade a little bit. Does that make sense? Like a nail, you have to put on well, blinks without blinks, then it just now. Whatever reason they're doing it for, what I'm saying is, is because I don't look at them as a sexual adventure, right, right, or something to conquer. I see true beauty, and and in seeing so. Most women makeup is absolutely horrible. Right. Some of them absolutely need it. Right. I mean, it's like oh. To me, put on makeup like put on clothes. You just you just transform. But back to the thing is, <laughs> a lot of people doesn't understand the word makeup. They think that it's a sexual thing, because when it comes to sexual, uh, sexually attract, of course, without makeup is always 
more always more uh, attractive but they're not going to be attractive they they uh create an artwork on their face let tattooing cuz i think people without tattoo is beautiful but why do they put on tattoo is it too attractive mm. no it's an expression exactly <laughs> Hey, baby. Yes. Just so they know, you're talking quickly, but he is absolutely putting hardly no pressure on this. Oh, wait, I cannot blow. That's so uh, not Oh, my class. God, they seen that. See, this is why. Oh. Okay, I have green. I'm gonna end it with yellow. Okay, then I'm gonna draw the black witch silhouette right on there. This already like trippy. At that point, your, your client should just cash up ready. Take your cash up out and just just hand it over already. Okay. This is super pigment. It's Indian pigment. Can you get me a lip box over there? Um, it's available on the website down here on the bottom www.tinovo.shop. So it comes in a box like this. And then you can uh, take it out and you can put it on whatever. I'm just putting it on like some form right here. Or you can put it in a tray or something. And I put the lid on the bottom, so I never, I never really close my lid. I hate open lid. So I just put something else on top of it. And when I'm ready, I just take it out and use it and then put it back, just like that. Yellow. It have a little green on my brush, so now it become green and yellow. Grello. Grello? Yeah. <laughs> no. Wood in it in the middle. Oh my God, so bright. Oh my God. Ten. Ten now like this. I'm gonna do ten now like this. Ten now. Oh no, five now. And then take a video. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's so trippy. Just you like it. Oh, I love it. I love it just like this. But of course, we cannot leave it just like this. It's just a background. Hear this one for uh, a minute because um, the math up code I put on there, it's just five seconds. So I have to keep hearing it. Oh, I'm so excited for a witch. I need to know how a witch look. Okay. <laughs> this one still have plenty of trees. Okay, so let's do a witch. So she's gonna be riding in a broom. Okay. So she's a broom. Mm, let's draw the body first. So this is a breast. Okay. So this is her shoulders. Okay, now she need uh, a butt, butt right here because it's sitting on it, so there's a butt. Okay, and some legs. So that her legs, right? So we just filled it up because she wearing a skirt. And then um, she need a face. She need a face? So a circle and a neck, okay. She probably need a nose too. Yes, she need a nose too. So we're gonna pull something out for the nose. Okay. And then she wearing a hat, obviously. And like that, the hat. And then she, you probably can give her some hair if you want and add some hair in. And she holding a broom, so her hand gonna be like this, holding it. Okay, something like this. 
Okay. Let's get started. Take this out. Now, if you want, you can take some mat and um, I'm gonna protect this just in case. If I don't like my witch, if I wanna take it out, whatever, then, oh no. Well, anyway, I plan to use shine instead of mat because I, I wanna draw some star and wood pigment on it later, but I can just put on another coat of shine, no problem. Okay. So. Black gel polish. I plugged the phone in just to see. Yeah, that might wait. Just that might rip. Uh, pull it out of your ass. What are you doing, that guy? Look easy, didn't he? Okay, now, um, I'm thinking of black metal, black gel, because, uh, I don't want my paint to be too runny, so I, I still want it smooth and cell leveling, but not too runny. So I'm gonna use black metal, black gel for it. Oh, sweet things about you. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna take our palette and drag it out first. Right now, I'm gonna draw a a broom first. Now notice the position of his hand. See that? That's a broom. Now he has himself stabilized. Now, she gonna have, okay, so I'm gonna draw the shoulder first, actually. Cause I don't want her hand to be gigantic. So see her shoulder, it's a hand. And then there is a shoulder. See that, that, that hand and shoulder. She grab in the room as she fly in the air. <laughs> now she need a breast. A breast. Cause I expect the witch to be woman. Okay. Well, warlocks are male witches. Uh, uh, I never see um, a, a warlock flying on the room. They usually... You know, I've never seen one on the room either. Mm -mm. Like they usually just just, just pop and appear somewhere, like teleport. Okay, so she need 